Do you want the alternative for Notebook LM? Well, it's Open Notebook, and it's a free open source version that you can install on your BPS. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that on this video, so let's get started. So first off, you want to avoid using the free limited version of Notebook LM. Plus, you want to have more privacy by storing the data on your own BPS. That's something that you're not going to get on Notebook LM. In this case, I'm going to show you how to install Open Notebook, and this is a free open source version. The only thing that you do have to pay for is the BPS. But the best thing about this is that you can use the BPS to install several GitHub repositories. So the cost is going to be way lower than paying any monthly subscription. So let's get started. I have my open notebook installed on my Holsinger BPS Docker, and it's easier than you might think. Now, before I show you this, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is actually Holsinger. I am using their BPS plan, and right now they are currently running a Cyber Week sale. So you want to check it out right now. Now, let's go ahead and check out these deals right now. They have BPS starting from $4.99 and all the way up to $19.99. Now let's go ahead and choose the KVM2, which has a balance of a good price and good resources for what you're going to pay. So I'm going to choose this plan and be aware that I'm going to show you how to apply coupon code to drop the price even more. Now, the first thing you need to do is select the amount of months that you want to pay in advance. I recommend the 24 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Now, this is the current pricing, but if you click on have a coupon code and type it in or paste it in, the price is going to drop to $129.38, and that's for two years paid off for a BPS with great limits to install your Open Notebook LM. So let's get started. To install the Open Notebook, you're going to need the GitHub link, which is going to make things super easy. So all you have to do is go to Compose, Compose from a URL, and grab the GitHub link. So right now I'm located in the GitHub repository. You can just go ahead and search for Open Notebook and you'll find this link right here. Go click on code, grab this link right here, go back to Docker from Hostinger and paste in that link. Remove the .git and get started and deploy. Once you do that, the installation is going to start. It'll take roughly around three to five minutes and you're gonna get started right here. Now, be aware for the installation process, we do need to modify the code a bit to add the AI model that you wanna use via the code inside of here. The reason Open Notebook doesn't allow an easy install on their system is because it's a privacy concern. So they want to have no issues with the API leaking out there. So you want to go into Manage, and in Manage, you'll want to go to JamL Editor right here, and you'll want to add this code right here. You're going to replace what it has there, and you're going to add this code that I'm going to provide you. Now, in this case, here is the API key. Just replace where it says here SK, that's where the API key starts with your own. So I'm gonna provide you the code without my API key, obviously, all right? And that'll let you get started right here. Next thing you wanna do is jump into Open Notebook and you'll be able to get started. First thing you need to do is go to Models and in Models, you'll want to enable the model that you want to use. Currently, these are all the models that you can start using. Yes, you will need the API key for each one of these. In this case, I've enabled Open AI, and as you can see right here, there's no way to add the API key. You gotta do it over there where I told you, okay? So once you enable that, you're gonna go down here and you're going to enable what you want to use for each one of these. So for example, for language models, I can add the model that I wanna use. For example, I'm using GPT-5 Nano for testing this, but you can add the model GPT-5, GPT-5.1, and the other ones that you're going to activate, Claude, Gemini, etc. from here. For the embed models, you can do the same here. Select the provider, in this case, open API, and set the model that you want to use. And that'll be for the language models, embedding models, text-to-speech, and speech-to-text. Just re repeat this, and then select the default model that you're going to use for each one of these. In this case, for example, I have hadn't added any speech-to-text, so I don't have any options. You need to add it over there. So for chat model, transformation, and tools model, I have selected GPT-5 in Nano. Once you set that up, you are good to go. I mean, you are 95% ready to go, right? Next thing you wanna do is go to settings and set up the rest of the things here. Go to advanced settings, check out that everything's fine. And once you're good to go, go to notebook and get started. Now, notebook is a way to start adding your data in a way that is private, separate from the rest of the data. So for example, if I go to this one right here, test two, I can add my sources and I can add my notes. 
and that means that i'll be able to chat with it right here based on my sources and my notes so i can do research specific for this so let's just say that i'm a lawyer and i need to bring in the local laws i need to bring in the constitution and any other laws that i might need here and i'll be able to chat with it because i have my private session right here plus the sources are going to be really fine-tuned to what i actually need so it's not like a general model like you would by chatting with ChatGPT or gemini this is going to be really specific so in sources i would add the constitution the rest of the laws in notes i can write notes here manually so it's super easy and practical for example for sources i can add sources via a link i can upload a file and i can add plain text so i have all the available options right here to add the details here and same thing goes with write notes so if you have specific notes and an example i'm giving you for example a a case for a lawyer well add specific notes right here based on that you know what this is how it's going this is what they are claiming etc just add the details here and then chat with it select the model that you want to use in this case i've only enabled gpt5 nano so i can start using it and just start chatting with this right here and that's only going to be based for this specific note that's the beauty about this that it's going to be specific best part of all since this is open source i don't have any limits so all i'm paying for is the bps and the api usage of the ai model that i'm using so it's practical in that sense it's going to be way less expensive than paying for a monthly subscription for something else that might even have privacy concerns because they can view your files what you're researching what you're learning in this case this is private the data is stored on my bps so that is for notebooks you have a collection of of the sources here you can ask and research in general so that's like not just specific to a notebook and you can create podcasts and just depending on what you enable in the models you have those available options here so again all you're going to consume is the api credits so it's a really good practical way to start using this so for example in this test i can go ahead and chat with it and say in this case i already asked it something what is this about and it's just a simple text that i've added here about the gpt cost etc and i got the results right here and just to give you a quick example that it's working like i said so to set this up don't forget that you have to replace the information here and let me show you the visual editor just in case you need to modify something here so what i've replaced is this too so do consider that when you're setting this up so you don't get an error because when you do the first installation with just link it won't launch so you'll need to customize this right here and api won't work unless you add the api here so do be aware of that when you're setting this up so once you're good to go start using the open notebook free version alternative to notebook lm so check it out link provided in the description for all of this and for the code that you're going to need to set this up correctly and that's a wrap